Oh, it started? Yeah. Oh, no, we got to do it all. <laughs> I need to put my phone on airplane. <laughs> oh. Hi, everybody. Sabrina here again with another video. And today, what I want to talk to you guys about is a microwave society. Now, with all the urgencies in life, we are living in such a fast-paced world. We want everything ready. We want everything now. We don't want to wait for anything to fully grow or heal or produce. And all the while, you know, progressing is great and improving is great. And we always want to have our feet on the gas pedal. All of that is awesome and all, but we need to make sure that we're not self-destructing by creating too many conveniences in our lives. And um, <clears throat> a way that we do that is we try to train our minds to operate just as a microwave does. Now, a microwave is not set out for us to be able to cook a whole meal. Although there are certain frozen meals that are already in the freezer for us where we just pop them in, but we all know the fact that it does not compare to actual real food that you would cook on a stove top. So that's the same thing that we're doing with our minds constantly, where we're trying to always put the gas pedal on things that need time to grow. It's almost like if you're growing a plant, you don't want to add too much water to it just because you want it to grow faster because that's not going to work. It's just going to become this slobby, you know, muddy mess. And you don't want to expose it to too much sunlight because that's not good for it either. You want to make sure that the things that you're able to control, you add the right amount of water, you add the, you expose it to the right amount of sunlight, and therefore it's going to grow at the time that it needs to grow. But we cannot do that when it comes to our minds, when it comes to our lives all the time, because we don't have control over everything. There are certain things we just have to let it be what it is. You know, we have to give it time to bloom. And in the meantime, while we're trying to find conveniences for everything in our lives, we're actually self-destructing because we're um, losing our sense of creativity and our ability to think deeply and to critically think. So we want to be very, very cautious about the way that we approach things in life. And no matter if things have a deadline or if they don't, we want to make sure that the things that need the proper attention, we give them that proper attention. The concept that I'm trying to get everybody to understand is that you cannot just pop everything in your life into a microwave and expect a miracle dinner. You know, like you cannot expect whatever food, whatever meal that you put in the microwave to taste just as great as whatever you would do on your stovetop or whatever you would get from a restaurant. So we need to stop training our minds to expect these really fast results if we have the means and the ability to be able to um, invest whatever it is that we can in every area of our lives, whether it's our families and our children and our education and our athletic abilities or whatever we have going on, our jobs, our pursuits, our careers, we need to make sure that we're not always trying to find shortcuts in everything that we do. So that way they can actually show their full force. So they can actually show the true value of what they hold. And then you have other people who, you know, in their respective fields, maybe they take steroids after steroids to try to get enhancements or to try to, you know, be able to play better or to have more energy or to be flying on the field or whatever it is that they're doing. But after a while, that doesn't always work out. Right. And then you also have some people who, you know, are students and you're always trying to rush through your classwork and your homework assignments just to get that grade, just to be able to, you know, know that you help your professors know that you completed the work with your teachers. And in the long run, you know, you see all the negative effects that all of those things have for you. Now, these are just a few of examples um, and they don't apply to you directly but you have to find what in your life have you been trying to microwave and expecting positive results out of because just you getting a passing grade isn't enough after you get your degree what do you have to show for it what are you going to do with that you know just you taking steroids and be able to win competitions or be able to get great compliments and whatever athletic abilities that you're doing that's not enough because then, you know, your body will start to deteriorate and it'll show that it wasn't real muscle and that it wasn't in your own strength that you were doing the things that you were doing. And even the food that you eat. So when you're trying to microwave, you know, this chunk of meat, like not only is it probably going to be kind of horrible, and kind of nasty, but at the same time, it's going to do negative things inside of your body. So we just need to be very, very cautious of the things that we're trying to bypass, right? Now, another quick question that I want you guys to um, quickly think about is, what happens when you microwave something and you think it's hot, but on the surface, 
you know, everything is hot, but at the bottom in the center, that's where it's really cold. It hasn't been, and I'm sure that's happened to, you know, many of us, where, you know, we think the food is hot, but then when we reach certain parts of the plate, then we realize that the whole meal wasn't microwaved properly. And so that, again, falls in line with us not being patient, with us always trying to rush everything, and us not taking the proper necessary measures to be able to get the positive results that we need so um i hope that you know we can all kind of reflect on our lives and decide what it is that we've been trying to rush before it's time what it is that we've been trying to you know push before while it's still too immature and what we haven't been letting time to breathe time to produce time to grow time to flourish in our lives and maybe you know someone who's you know dealing with something like that that you notice that they're not being patient with something or they're um having a hard time waiting patiently then maybe you can kind of pass the message along to them and just let them know like hey you know by you trying to microwave certain things in your life by you trying to rush certain things you might actually do more damage in the long run than good so um hopefully this was a reflective moment and I know it was definitely one for myself so as always I hope to see you guys liking subscribing and commenting down below how you guys feel and what more um you guys would like to see me talk about thank you